We ventured to Paoli, Pennsylvania to explore the innovative approach to multi-sensory math at the Delaware Valley Friends School. Many students with learning differences, including dyslexia, often grapple with varying degrees of dyscalculia, which can pose challenges in comprehending and working with mathematical concepts. So multi-sensory math is kind of a carryover from the Orton Gillingham pedagogy as an approach to language, where it is explicit direct instruction, um, there's a lot of repetition. We are using all of the students' senses to help anchor those um, skills and those basic foundational concepts. It's essential for some, but helpful for all. Um, so even if you are not officially diagnosed with a math disorder or any other sort of learning difference, it will absolutely help support you, especially when you go from these you know, multi-step processes, which will enable more kids to be able to access algebra and beyond. The complexity of long division can confound even those without learning differences. Fortunately, this multi-sensory approach provides students with unique and highly effective strategies to navigate mathematical problems. Every single time I do a certain kind of problem, I use the same language to break it down. So whether that's division or operations with fractions, cueing phrases to help them, fraction bar means division. We will break down, especially if we have kids with dyslexia or other um, language-based learning differences, we will break down the terms. It's often said you need more language in math than you do in language arts because you have to do the steps and every part has a name. Sometimes mastering math is as simple as turning the paper sideways. We will also use sideways loose leaf. A lot of times I'll say holes at the top so that if we are doing something like multiplication or long division, the alignment of those digits really matter. So that offloads that pressure and it lets, um, it lets the paper do the work for them for that. It also helps our kids with orthographic needs, if they have dysgraphia, to limit the space that they have to work on or at least have complete white space so it's not too much crowded on the page, but again, it gives them that structure for what they need to support their success. Benefiting from smaller teacher-to-student ratios, each student progresses at their own pace, ensuring that no one advances until everyone is on the same page. So when I was younger, when I would work on math problems, I, I didn't know how to approach it. I just looked at it and it scared me. Um, and I feel like as I've gotten older and as I've gotten support from my teachers and like my peers, um, and I've been shown these um, methods on how to make it easier for myself, I feel like even if it's on a piece of paper, and I, there's nothing I can do about that and I can't ask as many questions as I am here or I can't I access like a whiteboard, I can still use the tools that I've been shown and I can still break it down in my head and I can use scrap paper or a bigger marker if that helps. At my old school, it was like, just do it. But like here, it's like she says do it, but with like parts. And like another thing at my old school, there was no notes. It was just she would teach us and then just expect us to do great on the homework. So. Here, like we have a full binder full of notes, so we'll just write. Like we can always refer back. Like even when we take test and quiz, it's never we're completely on our own. The school employs engaging hands-on learning activities such as math serial, blocks, probability challenges with bubbles, along with music and dance. I just really like for me, like I don't know really how to explain it. Just like having something to like visually see and like touch and like physically be a part to try to understand why we do this, why it happens, has always just helped me better understand it. So Kelly uses these, uh, like, sayings, like, what really helps me because I have a, a bad, a bad short-term memory. So with these sayings and how, like, I can remember them really help me remember what I'm doing and the steps that I need to take. Divide, divide, multiply, multiply subtract, check, check, bring, bring down. down. And like anytime I have a division problem, I always sing that in my mind. I'm like, now I remember how to do it. Ultimately, students acquire foundational concepts and techniques that will illuminate their educational journey. My approach has always been just because your brain is not wired to allow you to do some of this automatically, it should not limit you from the math that we think you are capable of doing. 
knowing that as it gets more abstract, it could be trickier, but I can still give you the tools that you need to access the information so you can play with the understanding. Um, so for me, it's like anything's possible. For a world of difference, I'm Cindy Peterson.